I find Christians, not all, but many, excusing wisdom, excusing being prudent, excusing. And the sad part is I did, I did warn you. You, you warned me. I did warn you. You're suffering because you didn't listen to the community around you. You're suffering because you didn't pay attention to Bruce Lawn. The daily proverb for today is Proverbs chapter 22, verse three. It says a prudent person foresees danger and takes precaution. The simpleton goes on blindly and suffers the consequences. A prudent person foresees danger, takes precaution. Simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. Okay. So what is this saying? Someone that is wise, someone that is moving through life with a degree of shrewdness, with uh, just 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 a different perspective is someone that's going to slow down, foresee danger, and and then take precautions and course correct. Right where the simpleton goes up blindly on and suffers the consequences. Now here's what I find Christians doing. I find Christians, not all but many, excusing wisdom, excusing being prudent, excusing foreseeing danger, and then when they suffer the consequences, they blame it on God or they blame it on persecution or they blame it on the economy, or they blame it on fill in the blank. Instead of taking ownership and saying, well, I'm in the spot that I'm in because I'm a sum of all of my habits and decisions, and I'm in the spot that I'm in because of that. Instead, they go, I, I know I shouldn't have been dating that girl that's not a Christian and doesn't love Jesus. I know I shouldn't have been doing that. And I know I saw all the writing on the wall, but I did it anyway. And now she broke my heart and she, she I'm, I'm so depressed and I'm suffering, I'm suffering for God. No, you're not. You're suffering for your own stupidity. You're suffering because you didn't listen to the community around you. You're suffering because you didn't pay attention to the wise counsel in your life. You're suffering because you ran from the wise counsel in your life. You're suffering because of the consequences of your lack of shrewdness and wisdom. That is why you're suffering. There are people who let themselves go physically. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> this man's back. There are people who let themselves go physically. They eat whatever they want, they drink whatever they want, and then they get diagnosed with diabetes. Oof. And then they say, oh. <sighs> it's the enemy. Are you breathing heavy? <sighs> it's the enemy. I'm having a spiritual attack because the enemy, he's attacking me. No, bud. You didn't foresee the danger of the consequences, and therefore, you're now suffering them. You're suffering the consequences. You're suffering the consequences of your lack of planning, of your bad decisions. It's not God's fault, and the devil didn't do it. You did. You did. With some of you guys, your best teacher, unfortunately, is going to be life experience. I don't want that for you. Wise people learn from other people's mistakes. And so if you're going through hard times, you're considering all these things, allow the pain, allow the hurt, allow these things to drive you to say never again, to say never again. Never again will I let myself go this far where the doctor has to prescribe hypertension medication or blood pressure medication. First of all, high blood pressure, and you're going to hate this because this, this is actually true. Okay. You're it's more genetic. susceptible it's genetic. genetically. Okay. Yeah. What's the thing they give when you're Di diabetes? Yes. Is the uh you gotta take the yes. insulin. But there's something they give insulin. you. There's something they give you before that, like when you're pre-diabetic. Oh, I don't when know. You can still turn around. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, you wanna see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. Never again. Am I going to get to a place where a flat tire causes an entire catastrophic sequence of events on my life? Because the average American, by the way, doesn't have enough to cover a $500 emergency. Living paycheck to paycheck. It's like that. Right? And so don't be the victim of your own poor choices and then blame God or blame the devil or say you're suffering from the gospel. Learn from other people's mistakes. Learn from other people's mistakes. Be careful in all the traps. There's a lot of traps that the world and society puts in front of you. From student loans 
to which which by the way never go away to credit card debt to car payments to high starchy high salty high carb foods taxes taxes <laughs> This man's man talking to Zach me. Zach got rich as this a 21-year-old. This man's just talking to me. <laughs> Zach got rich as a 21-year-old and didn't pay his taxes. That, that's, <laughs> that's just your suffering, guys. That, that, is, that is the proverb. Tell him, <laughs> that's the proverb. Tell him, tell him about your tax story before oh, we man. move on to this. Got Zach out of high was school, crushing it Got out of high school, had a really, really low expenses, really, really low expenses, and was freelancing and making like the median salary equivalent in S Southern California. But also had really, really low expenses. No responsibilities, 18, 19, just going on dates and like that's it. And so I bought like equipment. I bought, I don't know, I get like second dinner with the homies at midnight. Just eat out a lot. Dang, he's gonna do me with the cinematic drop. And uh come tax season. Oh yeah, and and then when I the first year I started making really good money mm -hmm. is when I proposed. So I just put it right into the ring. I'm like, ah oh, man, I'm not buying a ring on debt. Like, all cash, paid for the wedding, all cash, all myself, financed it through the IRS come tax season. And <laughs> I spent like the same amount on my wedding yeah. and the ring, or just at least the wedding, as my tax bill was. And come to find out like, dang, this whole time I thought I was flexing that I was, uh, that I was making, that I was paying for the wedding cash, when in reality, <laughs> when in reality, I really just had the IRS finance my wedding. <gasps> Hey, man, listen, listen. Hmm. At least you didn't live with your mom for your first year of marriage. Uh, that is true. That's a, that's a, you had, like, you made too much money too early in life to, 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 to be wise problems. Yeah, man. That's, those are different <laughs> types of problems. Those are different types of problems. But yeah, Zach was out of control. And the thing is, now I have a, like a normal person yeah, expenses, yeah. like a normal married yes. person expecting a baby expenses. Yes. yes. And then like making almost the same amount of money <laughs> as I was back then when I was single. You were crushing. And I'm like, oh, you, were, you, man. Were, you were almost touching six figures. No, no, no. I never got You were like, place. what, 80? No, it was it was seventy. Seventy, yeah. But you were like twenty one, making seventy grand, running a yeah. running a, a freelance film. Yeah, business. and and all non tax. Whoops, <laughs> non tax. Whoops. So just getting it that check every month and being like, what? What do I got to do with this? Yeah. And, and the sad part it, right? is, I did I did warn you. You you warned me. I did warn you. Yeah. Yeah. You so <laughs> I learned what debt was from you. <laughs> like, I had zero like financial teaching and then i started shooting videos for ruslan when i was like 17 or 18. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and then it was like wait what's debt yep. and and so i learned what debt was yep. but i thought everything was just about not having debt yeah and i didn't think about like well when you don't have debt you get to save you right. get to do right and so i was like i'm chilling i'm buying everything cash yes. i don't have any debt i don't have a credit card i don't have anything yeah and it's like well come back from the honeymoon and i'm like using wedding money to buy a new car battery because our mm. car didn't start the first day <laughs> jeez i'm like oh yeah bummer yep yep anyways yep but there's ways around that anyway so zach's kind of dealing with the opposite extreme i dealt with just being broke and making really bad decisions <laughs> financially student loans car payments so on and so forth and now i got all those things yeah uh, because i married my wife <laughs> yeah, who has yep. student loans <laughs> <laughs> But you're cleaning it up. You're cleaning it up. Yeah, man. You're Woo! Cleaning it up. <laughs> you're cleaning it Yay, up. Yay, student loans are taking an effect right when my baby gets here. This is great. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I, it's going to be okay. At least it doesn't look like Google is shutting down. Yes. Okay? Everyone go subscribe. My mom, Zach's Sprouse <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> I'm, talk, I'm talking about everything we're doing. I'm talking about just basic basic expenses here. Yeah, man. You know? So okay, anyway, we'll, we'll cre credit card, student loan, car payments. Yep. Yep. Get on a Ramsey plan, man. Get on a budget, you know. Figure it out. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month, where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store, only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us conceptualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.